obviously, if you are a group that is labelled as uh, extreme, um, you're going to have something to say about that. Some of the organisations that are clearly worried they're going to end up on that category are already being very vocal about it. And, I'm worried and I'm going to end up on that so. category. I'm worried I'm going to end up on that category. And let me tell you why, because during the pandemic, when I spoke out against government policy, which we should be able to do in a liberal democracy, I was being surveilled by the government. My name is on those lists. I, I sent a tweet out raising awareness of data on the VAERS system about an increase in menstrual irregularities after the vaccine. That got me a black mark next to my name with this government. Well, and in, in, a, in a similar pandemic situation, when everyone's panicking again and everybody's mm. talking about individual liberties, when people like me are talking about individual liberties, and um, you're talking about uh, what will keep people safe, I might be deemed to be dangerous to the public. How can you guarantee to me that that won't happen? Well, I mean, on one level, I mean, Bev, you shouldn't be daft enough to fall for conspiracy theories. No, this was theirs. Um, this was theirs. This was but, on the but, government's but own a, but an system. But there's an important but how point. How dare I'm, you? I'm, I'm, no, I'm, how dare you? Don't tell me that's a conspiracy theory because oh, that's we, data. We're not going to turn this all that's into COVID data. again, are we? No, but this is about free speech. This oh, is about okay. free speech. And no, if you can't okay, guarantee me... Well... This because so, so okay, much of that time let, let was about free speech. Forgive me for... Tweaking your tell. Let, let, it is a, it is an important point. Let it me is. let me answer. The, let me answer. Let me answer the point. Uh, I think that it, it is really important that there remains a space for uh, for, free, for free speech. And I think the it, it, you're, it's understandable that we look at the re, the recent pandemic and and where the boundaries ought, ought to lie because you know there were a lot of conspiracy theories that were around about uh, at the time, and I think that raises questions for. Uh, broadcasting guidelines, but equally, there was a danger that you had a level of groupthink and you shut out things like uh, was China responsible for the violent uh, for the for the virus being um, being produced, and 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 that was jumped on early on, and 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 um, and the discussion around that was was suppressed. So it, this is a this is an important and difficult balance, and I think that is why the framework that is set out needs to be able to be properly scrutinized um, and and challenged because you, well while you may or may not agree with the instincts of a current government or a current current minister we are always liable to change in a democracy okay and you need the framework to be able to withhold a big change that could end up you know in future potentially saying an organization like GB News is falls foul. Exactly. We, we don't. We do, absolutely exactly. do we not go. want that Lord to Walney, happen. Exactly. We've got to go. Lord Walney, I think you and I need to have a cup of tea <laughs> together and clear the air.